Hi guys and welcome to another Sketchbook Sunday episode. Today I'm painting in my Strathmore sketchbook. Uh, as always, I've provided the links in the description to all the products that I use. Uh, I begun, uh, sorry, <laughs> I began using this textbook. Oh my gosh, where is my brain? This is not a textbook. I began using this sketchbook uh, a few weeks ago, actually it may even be a few months ago now, uh, when I decided to just try out a better sketchbook than I was using previously. Uh, the previous one was, you know, great for beginners, but I was starting to get frustrated with the inconsistency of the paper quality, so I invested in this one. And it's not like it was a huge investment, it was maybe 20, 20 or 30 dollars Canadian. Um, but the difference in the quality has. I actually enjoy painting in it now. Uh, whereas before, whenever I was doing sketchbook Sundays, I was like, do I really have to use a sketchbook? And. To, to call it sketchbook Sunday, or can I just use a regular watercolor piece of paper but um, now I don't have that problem anymore so yep it's in the descrim uh, description if you're interested in in uh, trying out a new sketchbook if you've been having similar issues with your paints so I am painting two landscapes here and I tried to make them a little bit more fall and autumn looking uh, just because that's the season we're in now and I have grown a new appreciation for the autumn season and you probably know that if you've already watched some of my previous videos where I talk about my love for autumn and it wasn't always like that uh, because I knew that yeah the pretty colors and whatnot that will last for a couple of weeks and then we'll just get cold and snow and miserable weather. Um, when I was a kid I really, one of the reasons I didn't like winter was because I had to put all of this stuff on like hats and mitts and a coat uh, so when I would see my friends playing outside on the street I couldn't just run out the door to meet them so I got this you know FOMO feeling fear of missing out as I was putting on all my snow gear <laughs> and it's kind of funny to look back on that now um, and how childish that mindset was but that was one of the reasons why I didn't like winter and as I got older and that obviously wasn't an issue anymore uh, it, it more so was that I couldn't do all of the fun out outdoor activities that I was so used to doing in the summer because I very much am a outdoorsy and active person and I love using Mother Earth as my playground and it's not always as enjoyable to go for a bike ride when it's minus 20 Celsius of course um, and snowing outside. I used to actually when I still lived with my parents, I would bike to my job. I worked at a kind of a sports outdoor store and I still cycled to work even in the dead of winter. So I had a few kind of accident wipeout moments uh, because sometimes I would get a really early shift because um, I would be stalking the store. So. I would have to get up at 5 a.m. and be on my bike by 5.30, so in the dead of winter it was obviously very dark and cold and icy, so I would wipe out on the ice quite often. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm growing an appreciation for winter uh, more and more now, mostly because it gives me the time to do things that I usually wouldn't have time to do in the summer because I'm just so used to you know being outdoors and spending as much time as I can outside whereas the winter you know provides us with that opportunity to do the things that we've been putting off like reading more books or painting in in my case Anyways, that's about it for today's Sketchbook Sunday episode. I hope you enjoyed these uh, autumn-themed paintings. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, click
click like on this video and don't forget to check out some of my previous uploads.